Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. It's a special video this week because Corbin has been kind enough to tell us all about his snow bike, which he built with one of the lightning rods motors powered by an ASI back 4000 tuned by high voltage. I'm going to let Corbin tell you all about this bike in his own words. And at the end of the walk around, there'll be some uncut footage of the bike in action. This is like the first year of development for this bike. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the second year brings. Cheers. Hey guys. So here is the snow bike in pretty much its finished form. Uh, so <laughs> I got the inspiration to build this uh, several months ago back in the summer when I actually first got my lightning rods kit and was just daydreaming about the winter time and skiing possibilities and um, kind of needing a tool to get myself and friends into the backcountry to do some skiing. But yeah, uh, so didn't really want to get a snowmobile just because they're loud and big and heavy and have a lot of maintenance issues and um, this was kind of cool because you can haul it on the bike of a on the back of a bike rack uh, it is a bit much maybe like one of those haulers from or a hitch mounted haulers from like harbor freight or something would work a little bit better but so far i've just been throwing it on the back of a bike rack and um, it seems to be working out pretty well but maybe like maybe 50, 60 miles on this setup so far, and uh, fingers crossed nothing's broken yet. So yeah, let me walk you through the bike a little bit. So starting at the track down here, um, you can see on the right here, there's a black kind of metal part, and that actually started out as a Husqvarna snowblower uh, kind of assembly, and it was super short. You can kind of see where I added on here with a piece of uh, aluminum tubing. Um, when I first got it, I had a tiny little track on it that was the snowblower track and uh, just wasn't really cutting it for sure. So added some length here, um, added all the little supporting bogey wheels, that slider rail at the bottom, um, and then sourced this track from my local snowmobile graveyard and uh, it's just kind of a hacked up snowmobile track and um, let's see if we can see it here ended up bolting it back together which surprisingly is holding up pretty well um, no problems this far so we're over here on the drive side now and um, we can see we got the 219 sprocket. It's like the biggest one you can buy. It's like a 91 tooth, I think, up to like a 12 tooth on the lightning rods, big block motor. Um, we've got like a, we've got a custom plate made here to kind of bolt the whole thing together. The motor's just kind of tucked in this uh, rear triangle on this pivot downhill bike, which is the frame for this whole thing. Um, got some rod ends and some linkages here to kind of spread the uh, stress uh, out of bolting this giant heavy track onto the back of this thing. Kind of make it all work together and so far nothing's broken. Frame's holding up pretty well. Pretty simple as far as all the structure goes. Just some uh, aluminum pieces that I machined and kind of bolted it all together. There's the back side of the big block motor. As far as batteries goes, I'm running the Golden Motor 72 volt, 21 amp hour triangle packs. Um, got two of them mounted up here, side by side on the front, kind of outside of the frame. And then when I go for longer rides, I've got the ability to throw two more in this case here. Uh, we can see you've got the XT90 connectors in there and they kind of ride back here pretty nicely. Uh, <laughs> got the rope on here from pulling some skiers the other day, some of my friends. Uh, did away with the pedals here. Probably could only pedal this thing maybe two miles an hour. Um, 
draws about 3,000 watts, just kind of cruising at, you know, you know, 15 miles an hour or so. Um, top speed is, I don't know, 30-ish maybe, 35, if you're feeling really squirrely. Uh, it definitely gets a little squirrely the faster you go, like above like 25, you really got to pay attention to driving it. Um, and I think maybe it's due to the ski geometry. I'm going to try out a different ski. This is just a snowmobile ski. It's kind of narrow and uh, it's got a little shock down here to kind of take up some bumps and just kind of spliced it on to the fork here. So as far as some of the other electronics goes, we've got the egg rider display up here. Um, and then we've got a secondary throttle for some region and motor braking, which I thought I would probably need, but turns out tracks stop themselves pretty well, so I don't end up using that hardly ever. Uh, I've got a headlight that's wired in. We've got a little mount for your GPS unit. Um, domino throttle is really awesome. That's a really nice throttle. like that a whole lot. Um, as far as the controller goes, there's a back 2000 that's mounted up behind this uh, Lexan plate here, uh, as well as like a little DC converter from like 72 to 12 volts. Um, and yeah, that's it for the electronics. So to wrap things up here a little bit, um, really pleased with how this thing came out. Super useful for pulling people around in the backcountry and getting to spots that you need to in the winter if you live in a really snowy place. Um, crazy how much power comes out from these little lightning rod motors to be able to turn this big heavy track um, and pull this. I mean, this thing weighs 120 pounds probably with fully loaded down with batteries and everything, which is pretty light for what it is and like compared to other snow machines, but still heavy for, you know, a physically kind of small motor, um, but super torquey. Um, you know has plenty of power and then of course you kind of get you can get away with a little bit more in the the cold weather with the motor rating just because it snow packs in there and keeps everything nice and cool usually um you know range is usually about 20 miles with the full battery packs maybe a little bit more if you're uh you know stay out of the throttle um, and that's the 72 volt, 84 amp hour battery packs all together. Um, like I was saying earlier, it's built on this pivot downhill bike that in the summertime makes a super fun uh, e kind of moto e bike setup. Um, love to ride that thing in the national forest here in Oregon. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. It totally is. Eat shit. It shouldn't die. No. This thing is kind of sketchy as fuck. <laughs>